Okay, so here we are with our top three finishes and modified class here. ETS round number two in Austria at the MAV Eigen Schlegel Club. Top three finishes, Mikhail Olovsky taking the win here, Bruno Crello finishing up in second place, and Simon Lauter taking third. Michael, we're going to start with you. Um, I guess A1, A2 wins, TQ position as well. On paper, that's an easy, easy victory here. But actually, if we talk about A2 in particular, a couple of little mistakes from you and Bruno was right there with you. Tell us about that A2 fight and the, and the pressure you had from Bruno Coelho, former world champion, starting right behind you there. Yeah, I was actually quite nervous today. Uh, Bruno was really fast in qualifying. He was really close between us all weekend, like we've been saying. And um, I was nervous, but also confident with, with the car. Uh, we knew the temperature will be different. Track conditions will be different again. And the uh, first final, my car was pretty much perfect. Uh, from the beginning, I took it nice and steady. As we know, with these tires, uh, anything can happen at the start, like we saw last year here. Um, I wasn't here, but I watched the video, so I was trying to be careful not to do something something crazy. And then uh, my car allowed me to, to pull a nice gap, and so that was uh, a really, really good run. A2 was more difficult. Uh, the car from the, from the warm-up lap didn't feel the same and uh, struggled a little bit more. Uh, which led to mistakes, uh, especially on the first lap. I was uh, almost upside down and uh, Bruno uh, braked uh, just in time. So big respect uh, to him for, for doing that. And um, I was really lucky to, to stay in front. And then I was able to make a small gap, make a mistake again, make a gap, make a mistake. Uh, so it was uh, up and down. But uh, yeah, the car was awesome today and I'm extremely happy to be able to take the win. Congratulations on the win here in Austria. Bruno, coming to you in second place. Again, Michael calling out the, the great fight we had on the track, there, the awesome respect shown between the drivers, which is always what we want to see you in racing as well. But we talked about that there. You were able to close that gap a few times in A2, put the pressure on, but it looked like Michael maybe had a little bit extra this weekend, particularly in, you know, when we got to qualifying in the finals. You had some pace in practice and he maybe pulled away there. How can you sum up your finals and, and the race here in Austria for you? Yeah, I think the race started pretty well for us. Uh, I think we were super fast to arrive to the point. But it was very hard for us to get that small tent, you know. Uh, so I think we, we, were, we started with a very good basic setup on the first day uh, ahead of the, the competition. But then the next day, like, they get one more step and we weren't able to get that step until the end of the, the, the race. Uh, as I said yesterday, that 21 laps, it was good. Yeah, it felt good. But I knew it was the conditions, the track that permit that. It was cold. It was uh, perfect conditions for to make 21 laps. But I knew we were suffering when the temperature will go up. And I knew today will be a hot day. I, I knew we will suffer a little bit with the tire temperature. So, yeah, today finals, I, I tried to, to follow Orlowski, but was I was never really able to fight with him like I wanted. Uh, it was always him making some small mistakes that permit me to be close to him, uh, like the second main. Um, but I wasn't really, I never had really the car to fight for, for, uh, for the win. So big congrats to him. He made him and his team made, made a very good job this weekend. We, we miss one tenth a lot more or less to be, to be on the fight and, uh, and a comfortable lead, let's say. Um, but that's it. Well, congratulations on a hard fought second place. Well done. Simon, we'll come to you finishing up in third place there. I guess kind of best of the rest, those two a little bit of a, a, a way in front, uh, but you had some fantastic fights in the final, particularly with Mark in, in A2 and the first half of A3 as well. Then a bit of bad luck, getting tagged by Eric and, and dropping back, but those earlier results were enough to get you a step on the podium again. Certainly making your mark here at the ETS season as one of the, the top racers there, having moved up from the stock class a few years ago. Again, another podium position for you. How do you sum up your finals? I'm just super happy with the end result. It's a, a yeah, world-class field of drivers and I'm... Yeah, super happy making uh, the podium, sitting here all weekend and staying here consistent is, is quite good for me. I'm happy with that. Um, obviously, the conditions today were not perfect for me. We need to learn and adapt more to the heat probably because especially in the last final, um, I was struggling a lot compared to the other guys. Um, I don't know whether it was me being nervous or the car not being perfect as it was. Um, but in the end, I'm, I'm happy with the finals I drove. I think it was quite clear that there will be no chance if uh, Michael and Bruno won't make any mistakes. Um, I was hoping for something to happen. They kept it fair. Nothing happened. So now chance for me. I'm best of the rest and I'm super happy with that. Well, congratulations. A well-deserved podium place here. And again, as we say, making your mark here on the ETS as one of those world-class drivers that you're mixing in with now as well. 
Mikael, we'll finish up with you as the final question. And both the other drivers mentioned this here as well. The track has changed a lot over this weekend. We've got 30 something degree temperatures here today. You're sitting there sweating in the press conference now, I can see as well. So Friday, we had uh, quite warm temperatures. Saturday, we had the rain at the start, much cooler track conditions in the afternoon. Sunday, baking hot, blistering sun all day long. Has it just been a case of keeping up with those temperatures, keeping up the, with the weather conditions to stay on top of the car? And that's been a, a, a crucial patch, factor in your success this weekend. Yeah, um, at the beginning, like Bruno said, uh, he was extremely fast. Uh, I was close, but uh, always close behind. And then um, Friday morning, we we found with the team uh, just you know one or two small small things on the car, which helped us to put this a few times in front. And and then we just stayed on top of of um, adjusting to the temperature. And with with the new car, the the setup window seems to be very wide on on many different tracks which I think helps us uh, a lot in situations like that where the temperature goes up and we just need to adjust the oils and everything else stays the same on the car and uh, the balance is always the same. So, um, you know, the, the car is extremely important in our racing as any other racing and uh, it was a big team effort uh, this weekend and and preparing for this, this event to, to make it that good for the qualifying and finals. Well, congratulations again to all of our three finishers here. Michael taking the win here, Bruno finishing up second place, Simon finishing up in third. That's round number two of the ETS done here in Austria. Thanks so much, guys.